This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Well, good morning. God bless you. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made. And I am up rejoicing and I'm glad. I'm literally glad to be alive this morning. Some of you may wonder, where does she get all this energy this early in the morning? And I tell you what, when I wake up, it's not always easy. But I tell you, it is really an honor and a privilege to be able to come and share faith-filled confessions and declarations and prayers with you every morning. Because I realize that really is what has brought me from a place of living a defeated life as a believer, having a form of godliness with absolutely no power. That's true. Um, to being a victorious believer, living a victorious life where I'm seeing manifestation of the promises and the things of God every single day. Miracles upon miracles upon divine interventions, supernatural divine enablings. I'm witnessing, I'm living, I'm manifesting. I'm seeing manifested in the lives of my children every day. And a great part of it is because I, I not only have been hearing the word, but I'm actually doing the word. I'm speaking the word. I'm allowing the word to fully engulf my entire my entire existence, body, soul, and spirit. And so some mornings I, I feel like you all, I don't want to get up. I don't want to go do a workout after these confessions, but it's an honor and it's a privilege to serve God by aiding and assisting and coming into agreement with my brothers and sisters every morning. So this morning, we're going to just uh, do some declarations and pray. And I would like you to, if you would, just fill out the chat. If you're watching this live, if you could fill out the chat box on the right side of the screen, even if you're watching on demand, but you are watching via live stream, if you could just fill out the chat box and let me know that you've been blessed by the confessions and the declarations this morning. I'd greatly appreciate that. I'd love to hear from you. And even if you're watching later, either on Facebook or YouTube, there are also um, areas there where you can leave a comment or leave a message. And I, again, I would love to hear from you and just love to hear how the confessions have been blessing you um, and how they've been changing and transforming your life even as they have done for myself and my children. So shall we, shall we pray and confess the word this morning? Father, I pray, cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning. For in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. According to Psalm 143, 8 and 10. Father, in Jesus' name, I decree and declare that my life is synchronized with your perfect will, agenda, and calendar. Superimpose your will over the will of evil spirits and evil men. Empower me to serve in holiness and righteousness. Grant me divine kingdom asylum and diplomatic immunity from evil that seeks to imprison and entrap me. Since my times are in your hands, you will deliver me from the hands of my enemies and from those who persecute me. 
dismantle evil powers working to frustrate my day, my assignments, and my activities. Thwart the arrows shot toward me by day and cause the terror to cease by night. Rescue me from my enemies, for I hide myself in you. Cause the east winds of judgment to blow into the enemy's camp. Stop the diabolical cyclones and demonic winds designed to bring shipwreck and disaster into my life. Cause divine and fresh winds of the Holy Spirit to blow. Let the winds of replenishment, the north winds of abundance, and the south winds of restoration and supernatural supply blow profusely. Assign angels as my divine escorts and supernatural security. Let them marshal the boundaries and borders of my sphere of influence. Let them dismantle and destroy satanic strongholds and dispossess satanic squatters. Close the gates of death and seal up the doors of affliction and torment. Open divine gates of access to new doors of opportunity, windows of divine inspiration, insight, and revelation, paths of righteousness, avenues of success and prosperity, multiple streams of income and positive cash flow, highways to places of divine assignments and prosperity, and channels for transition and deliverance. Teach me your way so that I may know how to conduct my affairs in the most discerning, expeditious, and fiscally wise manner. Open my eyes to cutting edge technologies, methodologies, tactics, and strategies that can aid me in doing your will. Father, allow only those with divine assignments to be drawn to me. Let your Holy Spirit and his wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the fear of the Lord, and prophetic insight be upon me today. Grant me the ability to hear clearly as you give me insight witty ideas and creative inventions. Open my ears and let your word inspire me to righteousness. Open my eyes to the symphonic movements of the spirit with clear, crisp transmission. Cause my spiritual eyes to function with 2020 vision for the correct insight, understanding, and interpretations of the choreographic movements of God. Let not my eyes be seduced by the spirit of covetousness or my mind by the pride of life. Make my feet as hinds feet over all my troubles. Lead me along the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Holy Spirit, I thank you that today you're giving me new ways of living and better strategies. You're upgrading me with kingdom technology and kingdom methodology. In Jesus' name, I receive the supernatural discipline to implement them today. Father, today along with my brothers and sisters, I decree and I declare the anointing of a warrior is upon me. I decree and I declare that every domain and system that you have assigned me, I confiscate it from the enemy. In Jesus' name, I release the law of dispossession. Every satanic or demonic squatter that is on my land, property, or territory I command to go now in the name 
of Jesus, for I am more than a conqueror. Strengthen the hedge of protection around my life, my possessions, my family, my friends and associates and ministry. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray all of this on, be on my behalf and on behalf of my church, my job, my business, my government, the hospitals in the area, the local colleges, my children, my grandchildren, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my parents, everybody within my sphere of influence and every institution that has a sphere of influence over my life and that of my children. Children, in Jesus' name, I thank you today, Father, that you used your divine skill to put me together and I am fearfully and wonderfully made in you. Well, God bless you. We love you. Look forward to being here with you again on tomorrow. Have an incredible day. Go out and do something different. Dare to do something different, knowing that you have activated the power of the Holy Spirit and the ministering angels to work on your behalf because you have decreed and declared the word of the Lord over your life this morning. I love you. God bless you.